Hi, what I show you in this video is how to load and use WPF data uh, controls in a Microsoft Office application and load those data in a data grid in an Excel file. So first I show you what this does. I specially made here a WPF uh, uh, VSDO add-in and when I push that button then The Excel file will be loaded, and you see it's uh, it loads uh, 1,100 data sets or record sets from an Excel file, and this, as you see, is with a WPF application. So this is a very fast application, a very very fast uh, data grid, and it's a little bit tricky how to get this uh, done in a um, Microsoft Office application. If this is in Word or Excel, PowerPoint and Outlook and so on. This is very fast and the most stuff which you will find will be in WinForms, any old stuff from the 2000 around this. So I stop that now. Uh, and by the way, you will find the, all that code and all those files in my website and you may download that. So, but now we go to the code and the code itself is here. That's, uh, uh, I, in any respects, I think you have your comment with uh, loading or creating a ribbon bar. Ribbon bar, go to Microsoft Ash, uh, Visual Studio, create a, a VSTO. Microsoft Word add-in, ribbon bar add-in, or Excel add-in, and so on for 2013, 2016. So that's what I think you already know. And now we have uh, here, that's the, uh, I embedded there, as always, a ribbon. When you work with that, you need a ribbon. I close it for demonstration. I added this ribbon in there. Ribbon design view, you see there's an Excel button and an Excel input file. So in there, there is the name of the uh, data file, so the Excel file. And I said, okay, there is a button. There is, a, whenever I push on there, then we go to the button address uh, select click now that's the one and now I open a formed Excel form data uh, is a new Excel form data WPF uh, form dot show now this one this form data is not the common one it's uh, it's based as a WPF application so it's in XAML and XAML is WPF and this is very fast and it would also be possible be possible in the core uh, core application Windows Core, but that's the future. <clears throat> so this one is fast, and if you do the same stuff with the Windows Forms uh, data grid, data grid view, then you will be disappointed on the uh, Windows Forms. So this is WPF. I embedded all that code, and I think. Um, you might be common with WPF, so when you have WPF, you have there a grid, and then I dropped in there a data grid. A simple data grid called, in this case, CTL for control data grid. Item source is binding. So this means I create in the background, uh, I'm opening Excel file load all the Excel file in a data table, and then I bind the data table to the item source. So that's what we do there. So this is WPF, and you should be a little bit common with WPF. If you have questions to this one, you may ask me. So now what happens if the data is loaded, this file? So in the first block, we do the following. I say, okay, uh, open Excel file. Open Excel file means uh, take the string of the file and then say uh, Microsoft Office interop. So this is VSTO. Interop is com x Excel application. Open a, a new Excel application and then 
Excel application workbooks open that file. Okay, and then the file is loaded. And as soon as you loaded that file, you have to you have to speed up your uh, Microsoft Excel. We say, uh, this, what is the use range of the first, uh, first of the worksheet? And then you say, this is a very fast reading for Excel. Take the entire use range of value into an object array two, dimen two dimensions. So this is a rows and columns, two dimensional values array, but it has to be in type of object. Now we have to, um, to take everything into a table and a data table. So we have here a data table of type system data data table. This is uh, the former ADO. Uh, uh, active data objects um, class, which is still uh, still valid in uh, in the link. So this is uh, still brand new. Uh, even it sounds uh, now a little bit different. So data table, we say new data table, and then we add all those values in the data table. Data table columns at take the first take values the first row all col columns wrote read that stuff create at a column table then we do the following we loop through all rows from row two to the last row and in my case i stopped at 4000 i should break that okay but it's in there oh, we, we will you may throw it out then I each 50th record set as a uh, actual uh, the layout. So this is something difficult, but uh, this is async uh, uh, programming. Then we say load all columns in the data table rows at a row. So a row is a data table new row of data row. And to all data row, you say, okay, simply you simply say a number and a value and then it aligns all that stuff in there so and then finally we do the fast shot data grid auto generate columns true data grid data context this data means data source on the, the windows forms is data table and that's it and maybe you want to show how fast this is again and i'm happy to show you that this works in windows application now i'm pushing this button now it loads those files and at the first time it needs a little bit of time to open the excel form so if you need a faster access uh, to file or opening then you take a uh, csv file or text file with semicolon um, split it so this is wpf and as you see this is very fast the Windows form, it's not possible on that point. And you may, you have all those functions of a data grid and you may go in there. Now I t took all that stuff as a, um, <coughs> this is editable, but I took this stuff as the, uh, in a basic, basic way. But this is very, very powerful. And now I use that stuff to select something from an Excel file and drop it into my, uh, for example, uh, serial word files or uh, service reports and all the stuff. I take it out of there and drop it in there. If you have questions on this, make a subscription somewhere and then uh, call me on the, uh, give me a comment on the video.